Howdy everybody, back for elevator video number five. Um, and I am numbering these videos, but because I had back ordered parts, um, I am currently working on the rudder, um, attaching the parts that I got from that were on back order. Um, so I'm not sure if the numbers make sense, but they'll be somewhat out of order when they get posted. But if you were to watch all of the elevator series, starting from one to whatever it ends up being, <coughs> you, you'll see them in order, even though they might not come out in order. Um, because I think I'm going to have a couple of rudder and a couple of horizontal stabilizer videos kind of fit in between there because um, I got parts, the back ordered parts. I'm still missing a couple of like six of the the bolt things, the, the, what are the hinges, um, but I did get the things I needed to move forward. So that was really nice. Um, but working on the um, elevator here, basically what I'm doing is uh, kind of like what I did in the previous video, take it all apart, sand it all down, uh, make sure it's good, um, prime it, and then you're good to go. Um, those, the, the rib tips there that I'm working on right now, those are thick pieces of metal and there's two pieces and they go together and you can see there, what I did is I got a, um, a rice bag and a rubber mallet because they were bent down the, the length of them. There was a curve in the middle that I needed to get out because those two pieces fit up against each other. And I'll show you a picture here, um, how they fit together. But they there, there was a bow on both of them, and so there was kind of a hole in between. Like they matched up really nice on the edges, but down the middle, the length of them, there was it, there was a gap. So I had to, I kind of had to pound the metal, just you know, in the middle there to get that bow out of the out of the metal. And they are they're pretty thick pieces of metal, so it did take some. You had to kind of to use some oomph for that. Um, and then I have my, uh, I showed you guys previously the little uh, one inch deburring wheel. Um, the six inch deburring wheel is on my um, my little grinder right there, but that little one inch one that you hook to your um, die grinder is fantastic. So I use that a lot. I um, mean, you can just kind of zip down the edges and they're, they're beautiful. Um, do a little bit of cleanup here and there, but other than that, it's gorgeous. Um, yeah, and working on the those rib tips was, or the tip ribs was, it, it took some time to get those so they were bent correctly. Um, and the instructions did say that you might have to, you know, bend them and you know, kind of manipulate them. So it wasn't like you don't know about it. It's just they're a little bit thicker and a little bit harder than the normal regular old thin aluminum stuff. So here I am just um, washing off all the scuff, the dust and debris from scuffing those sides up and everything. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm putting them on my little uh, pad there that I've been using to um, do the, use the self etching primer. So I'm just doing that for each one of those kind of repetitive there. I do have another joke. We will see if you like it. Um, it is a pirate joke, so fair warning. It says, what did the pirate say when he became an octogenarian? I matey. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay. But anyways, my daughter did not laugh. She didn't think that was funny. She's shaking her head saying that that was just stupid. Um, but I thought it was pretty funny. Um, just continuing to clean in the parts there. We'll see if this joke, I'm gonna do a second joke just so uh, we can see if I can get my daughter to laugh. So what, so what if I don't know what Armageddon means? It's not the end of the world. Okay, she liked that one. That was a good one. Okay. So here I'm just priming the parts. I'm using the self-etching primer I got from Ace Hardware. Um, it's 
skin. It's the same self-etching primer that everybody seems to use. Um, it's pretty nice stuff too. It, it goes on really nice um, and uh, does a really good job, so I like it. Thankfully, I, my shirt was long enough that you didn't see anything you shouldn't have seen. It was a beautiful day. I moved the parts out into the garage, out of the garage, so we could actually breathe while we were in there. There's my friend Brad. Um, he came to help again. Uh, he did tell me that his wife is softening up a little bit about the flying the airplane stuff, and so any comments you could give to Brad to help you know, convince his wife that he needs to start flying again and that he needs to build his own airplane, you know, leave those comments so he knows that he has, he has support um, and maybe we can convince his wife to, to let him spend a whole bunch of money on airplane stuff. But he's helping me um, take the, the elevator apart. So I took the, the first one apart, basically doing the same exact thing to this one. And I don't know if you notice, uh, watch Brad as he takes these apart and then peels the stickers off. And this is one of the, the things that I have the hardest time doing and, and I, I think everybody does, is those stickers are stuck on there. It is a pain in the butt. Like I have this sped up like a thousand times and it's still, he's working on that thing for what, four, five, six seconds and it's at a thousand times speed. You know, you spend a minute or two at least every single sticker. Um, to get those stickers off and then after you get the sticker off then you have to use the acetone to get all the gummy stuff off of it um, so it is a pain in the butt if vans could figure out a way to put like a certain kind of sticker i don't know if it's even out there that it would stick so it wouldn't come off of the piece but that you could peel off easily i think you would save you know they say it's 1200 to 1500 hours to build one of these planes I think if you could get a better sticker system, you could knock a hundred hours off of that time. I mean, you, we spend a lot of time getting those stickers off. So just a thought, Vans, if you ever watch these videos, um, I, don't, I don't even know if it's out there. I don't even know if it's possible to do, but a sticker that won't come off easily, but then when you need to peel it off, comes off relatively easily. I know I'm asking for the best both worlds probably not even possible but it would be very cool <clears throat> so we're just continuing to take this apart we take it apart rib by rib piece by piece um, clean up each of the parts as you do them and then we'll do the same exact thing with this particular elevator this is the left elevator um, we'll scuff all those parts up we'll take them out to my little pad we'll paint we'll use a self-etching primer and we'll prime them <clears throat> And then we'll be good to go to put them all back together again um, and build the, the actual elevator. So I do appreciate Brad coming and help. It is a, I mean, I don't want you guys to think that I just make him do the grunt work because I, I try not to. Um, you know, I try to make sure he has fun as well, but really 80% of the work is grunt work. I mean, putting this, the rivets in is pretty, it's like the simple part and it doesn't take very long. Um, the actual cleaning of the parts and getting them prepped and doing everything you need to them, that's the, the majority of the work building a plane. Um, so just fair warning, if you decide to do that, understand 80% of your time is going to be deburring parts, prepping parts, priming parts, getting them ready to be primed and not actually putting the airplane together. As always, if you have any comments, please feel free to share. Um, please post your comments um, to help Brad get a plane. Um, I know he'll appreciate that. Talk to you later. Bye.